Good evening, everybody. Well, today I have acquired a new book, and I am pretty darn excited about it. Um, one of the books that I've had for quite a while that I love re referencing is The Grimoire for the Apprentice Wizard by Oberon Zell. Well, today when I was at my favorite little bookstore, I found the companion for the Apprentice Wizard, which is the sister book. So now I have two books by Oberon Zell that I can reference. Now, I have been going through the companion pretty much all day today, and it is full of wonderful information. Um, it has lots of diagrams, it has lots of charts, um, it's just full of information today. And, well, every day. But, um, I wanted to make a couple quick references to about this. Just to tell you the information that's in here, I wanted to read the table of contents for you. Um, each one of these is uh, chapters has an associated color to it. Wizardry is indigo, nature is silver, practice is gold, metaphysics is aqua, healing is blue, war cunning is green, divination is yellow, performance magics is orange, alchemy and magical sciences are is red, lifeways is pink, beast mastery is brown. Cosmology and Metaphysics is Violet. Mathematics is Clear. Ceremonial Magic is White. Lore is Gray. And Black Arts is, of course, Black. So there is a lot of pages. This book is um, just over 270 pages, so it has lots of information in here. And I wanted to talk about here we go. The divination part is what was the selling point really for this book to me. Um, when I was a kid, my dad read cards um, for my aunt and a few other people. But he did not have a tarot deck. He used regular playing cards. And he knew what the each car represented card represented, but I didn't. You know, I was seven, eight years old at the time. And so this um, book actually has the chart that tells you what each playing card represents. Um, we're going to hit the ten of hearts here. Um, emotional happiness and fulfillment through others. Giving emotionally to others and deriving satisfaction from others. Happy marriage or relationships. That's a nice positive card. And so let's just turn the page and let's hit the Eight of Clubs. A sudden upsurge of energy, enterprise, changes in career, travel, or lifestyle. A time to seize the day, perhaps even striking out on your own in some way. And you know, it has some of the various spreads in here. They have a three card spread um, that looks pretty interesting. And so I thought that was fascinating. They talk a little bit about the tea, reading tea leaves. And one of the major selling points for me was that they have a section about using dice for divination. And you know, they have it, you know, where you can have one, two, or three of the standard six-sided dice. They even have a little round circle um, where you cut up and it's each little space is given a, a, a letter value. And you know, when you roll your dice on it, what it lands on, um, you know, corresponds to a certain thing. So like D is domestics, F is health. I is P, uh, present state of mind, and so that was pretty interesting. 
But the part that I thought was fascinating on that was they have it for the D100, D20. And I have actually a couple D20s in my collection of dice. Here's mine. Here's one I use the most. And they have this nice chart. So if you were like to roll a 13, sorrow is imminent. Okay, well, that's interesting. But so I was thinking, well, if we could do that with the D20, we could also do that with the D100, the golf ball, which has always been one, you know, a goofball dice. But that would require a lot of study in numerology and a lot of research in other aspects as well. There are diagrams to make in a definition box, which is basically like a lid that you would divide into four equal spots, and each one you put maybe or yes, no, or don't know and each one of those in each space and you know as you roll your dice or flip your coin you know where it lands it answers the question they have it about using coins for definition it's just a lot of information and you just love it they talk about the chakras um, you know so you can heal yourself and they got some standard you know information um, you know like your candle magic selecting a color so um, if you do find the one of the books by Oberon Zell I would highly suggest that you buy it if you're wanting a good resource of information so everybody take care be at peace